Texas Rattling Rigs. What's going on guys? I'm Mike Ashworth and you're watching Texas Fishing Force and today we're talking about Texas right on the rigs, shake weights in general. Um, and I'm going to show you how I set these up because it's a little bit different than the way I've seen most people set these up and it's super easy and I want to show you and I've used these pretty extensively over the last few months so I wanted to share some of that knowledge with you. But let's get started. All right, the uh, Texas right on the rigs, they come in three different sizes like this. They come in a ton of different colors and they sell the full setups like this with the popping cork. First off, do they work? Um, yes, they do. Absolutely. The, the noise of these, absolutely 100%, it attracts fish. Uh, they work. You know, I've been out many, many times where I have been swapping out lures over and over again. And I know that there's fish there because I can see them on the fish finder. I know that there's fish around because I can see bait moving. I can see fish chasing bait. I know they're there and I'm just not hooking up. I can't get them to bite for whatever reason. And I've switched to, I put one of these on uh, one of my rigs and sure enough, I start hooking up and I start catching fish. So I know for a fact, yes, they do work. They do what they say that they're supposed to do. They attract fish. Come here, buddy. Now, why would you not just keep this on all the time then? Um, well, there's a few reasons. While they work and they work fantastic, um, they are weighted. So if you um, if you're trying to fish the top of a water, these these will pull your lure down. Um, if you're trying to fish even close to the surface of the water, this may not be what you want. Um, however, a lot of those top water lures like this have rattles inside of them that also make noise. So that might be a better option. Secondly, for whatever reason, these things get caught up on everything. While they attract fish, I'm pretty sure they also attract debris and oyster shell and everything else because every time I use them anywhere close to debris, I'm getting caught up. Um, I've broke off probably three or four of these in oyster shell and random debris on the bottom of the water because they do, they get caught up everywhere. So for me, I like to use these where I have a, a soft bottom or a hard bottom with no debris, where there's no oyster shell and there's not a whole lot of rocks and things that I can get caught up on. I like to use them then. I like to use them when I'm having trouble landing fish um, and I just want something else to help attract those bites. But if I am fishing in uh, areas where I've got a lot of structure or oyster or anything in the way, then I really want to take these off. So when I was at the Houston Fishing Show, the salesman that actually gave me all of this uh, explained how to hook up, especially these smaller ones uh, in line on your leader. Um, and I'll show you that right now. You run your main line through the eyelet, pull whatever length leader you want, do one loop, two loop, Come back through the top eyelet. Now you have an inline sinker. So you attach your hook or whatever you want, however you want to do it, and then as it gets tattered up, you just put some slack and move your weight up. There you go. That's pretty awesome. Thank you. Thank you. The uh, larger ones and even the middle uh, sized ones are a little bit different because they they do have the uh, swivel on both ends. So you can't run the line directly through here without these kind of hanging off. And that can be somewhat of a problem. Uh, now this one has it on one side and not the other. So basically what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to run your braid or your whatever line you're using to one side, tie it on here. And then your leader, you tie on here and then your lure at the end. Same thing with this. You wanna do it the same way. You tie your main line, and then your leader, and then your lure, right? Now, here's my problem with that whole setup of tying off to one end and then tying your leader to the other end. 
uh, or the method of running it through and wrapping it around this and then tying your lure to the other end. So because I fish Galveston and uh, within 20 or 30 feet, I can be in a hard packed ground, which is really, really nice with no debris. And then I can pedal my kayak, you know, 50 yards, 100 yards, and then I'm uh, sitting on top of an oyster bed or in an area that has a ton of debris. So for me, I don't like the idea that I need to cut my line, pull this off, put the, you know, take that off, tie on a new lure, and then get back to fishing. I, I just, I don't like that I have to take time to do that back and forth. And then once I get off the oyster again, then I cut my line again, I tie one of these back on, tie my lure back on. It's just a lot of wasted time. Now, you do have the option of keeping one rod where you keep this on and another rod where you don't. But even then, there's times that I like to have multiple setups that are the same. In case I break one, I can immediately grab my other rod and then have another Shakeway or Texas ride on rig and, you know, be setting, sitting on the exact same setup uh, really quickly. All right, so I wanna show you uh, how I set this up so that I don't have to worry about cutting lines and retying things and doing all of that. Now I've shown a few people this personally and all of them seem to be pretty impressed with it. Um, I actually went out with a friend of mine who was a guide and I, I showed him this and you know he immediately said that he wanted to do this the very next day. He said, I'm definitely gonna try that out. And so I figured it would be something that I could show all of you and maybe you can all use it, I don't know. All right, so all of my rods, whether I'm wade fishing or kayak fishing or whatever, I, I pretty much do the same setup. And this is, this is pretty much what I do here. Now I use braided line and <clears throat> I bring the braided line down and I tie to a fluoro leader with a uni to uni knot. I put on a snap swivel and then put on my lure. And the reason that I use the snap swivel is because I do change lures quite often. I change them, you know, every 20 to 30 casts if I'm not getting a bite. Now, um, with this setup, what I want is I want to have the ability to put on one of these shake weights somewhere on this, this leader here. Now, I don't want it on all the time, like I said, because if I'm in oyster, if I'm in debris, this is going to get caught up and then I'm going to have to tie this entire setup over again. So for me, um, I wanted to be able to get this in line on this leader um, as easy as possible. And so let me show you what I do. So I make a loop. I run the loop through the inside of one of these holes and then I take the entire loop around and then I pull it tight. So now we're, now we have this set up right here. Uh, but I don't like this hanging off like this because this will definitely get caught on things. So what I do is I make another loop and I run it through the other side Just like this. Now you can't run that back around here because this line is in the way, but what you can do is run your lure through that loop. And now this entire thing is in line. Now, the great thing about this setup is that you can also loosen these lines here. And then you can slide this up and down your leader. So if you want this closer to your lure or farther away, that's easy to do. Now to take this off, you literally do this exactly opposite. Um, you just get your loop. Run it back through your loop and then you take it off the exact same way. It's super simple. Um, it's extremely easy 
to take these on and off. And uh, you don't have to worry about losing them that way. It's uh, it's a really nice, easy setup. Um, it takes you, you know, five, 10 seconds to do, um, to take them on or off. And you can change them without having to cut your line, without having to remove your lure, without having to retie any knots. You just keep on going. Um, which for me is absolutely perfect because I like to change things a lot when I'm on the water to try to catch more fish. And the less time that I'm, you know, wasting tying knots and tying things on and, and doing all of that, um, the more time I get to fish. And, and that's exactly what I want. So I'm hoping that this helps you out. Now, like I mentioned before, um, the larger and even the medium sized um, shake weights uh, from Texas Rattle and Little Rig are a little bit different because you generally would have to tie onto one of the swivels and then tie your leader onto the other. However, with the way that I just showed you, you can do the exact same thing uh, on these and it's not a problem at all. Um, you just run it through the actual swivel and not through this bottom loop. You, same thing, same setup. Um, in fact, you actually have a little bit more motion in this. It'll move around a little bit, but same thing, holds really, really tight. You don't have to worry about it at all. Um, and that way I can use all three of these the exact same way. Um, no issues whatsoever. It, it holds on, it holds on really, really well. It doesn't, you know, cause me in, any problems with my line. Um, and I don't have to tie anything. I just, just that is enough. And uh, it's a perfect setup. Anyways, I hope this video helps you. Um, you know, if you haven't already, definitely go check them out. Try out their, uh, try out their products. Uh, they're, they're good. You know, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. I just really, really like things that work. And, and these work for me, they work for a lot of people. And I, yeah, I trust, uh, I trust what they do. So give it a shot. Um, if you're using these and you haven't used that setup, try it out. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. And as always, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again.